Subtopic 9.4 Roles of Hormones During Pregnancy and Parturition During pregnancy, there are three hormones involved which are human coronic gonadotropin or HCG, progesterone and estrogen. While in parturition, the hormones involved are progesterone, estrogen, oxytocin and prostaglandin. During pregnancy or gestation, the endometrium wall should be thick to support the development of embryo and fetus. So hormones that involve to maintain the thickness of endometrium are HCG, estrogens, and progesterone. During the first trimester, the trophoblast cells of blastocyst will secrete HCG, which then stimulate the corpus luteum in the ovary to secrete estrogens and progesterone. Estrogens and progesterone will maintain the thickness of endometrium. So why only during first trimester, HCG stimulate corpus luteum, it is because at this period, the placenta is not fully developed. At the end of first trimester, the trophoblast cells will completely develop into placenta. Hence, once the placenta is fully developed, placenta will take over the role to secrete estrogens and progesterone. During early pregnancy, which is the first trimester, the HCG can be detected by using pregnancy test kit. And also, the HCG is the hormone that responsible causing mothers to feel morning sickness. That's why a pregnant woman only experience morning sickness at the early of pregnancy but will stop at the entrance of second trimester. So let's read the process that occur during gestation. Before placenta fully developed, which is at the first trimester of pregnancy, trophoblast cells secrete human coronary gonadotropin HCG. HCG can be detected by pregnancy kit and causing morning sickness. HCG stimulates corpus luteum to secrete progesterone and estrogen. Level of progesterone and estrogen are high to maintain thickness of endometrium wall. After placenta fully developed, which is at second and third trimester of pregnancy, the trophoblast cells completely developed into placenta, so no more secretion of HCG causing the corpus luteum in the ovary degenerate. Level of progesterone and estrogens are maintained high by placenta at this period. Let's recap about hormones involved in pregnancy. The first hormone is human coronic gonadotropin or HCG which is secreted by trophoblast cells. The role of HCG is to stimulate corpus luteum to secrete progesterone and estrogen before placenta fully develop. The second hormone is progesterone, which is secreted by corpus luteum at the first trimester and placenta at the second and third trimester. The roles of progesterones are to maintain the endometrium thickness, to inhibit uterine contraction at high level, and also to stimulate the breast growth and memory gland development, where this will be facilitated by estrogen hormone. The third hormone is estrogen, which is secreted by corpus luteum at the first trimester and by placenta at the second and third trimester. The roles of estrogens are to support enlargement of uterus, to maintain the endometrium thickness, to support fetus organ development, and also with progesterone, it will stimulate the breast growth and memory gland development. Parturition is a process of giving birth. So this process occur at week 37 of final week of pregnancy, which is the end of ninth month of pregnancy. So to allow parturition to occur, the uterus must contract. The uterus contract to push the fetus out of the womb. So hormones that involved for uterus contractions are progesterone, not shown in the diagram, estrogen, oxytocin, and prostaglandin. So once the baby is mature or the pregnancy reach final week, placenta will produce high level of estrogen where High level of estrogen causing the progesterone level to drop. Progesterone level must drop to allow contraction of uterus. As we learned before, in pregnancy, the progesterone level should be high to inhibit uterus contraction. But during parturition, the progesterone level should be lowered to allow parturition to occur or to allow uterus contraction to occur. So, high level of estrogen will induce the formation of oxytocin receptors on uterus. 
oxytocin receptor is the binding site of oxytocin hormone. At this period, the fetus will engage at the correct position where the head will be facing downward and pressing the mother's cervix. Pressing of the fetus head to the mother's cervix will stimulate the fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland to secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin will be transported to the uterus and then it will bind to the oxytocin receptors. The binding of oxytocin to the oxytocin receptor on the uterus will stimulate uterus to contract. Contraction of uterus will stimulate the placenta to secrete prostaglandins. Prostaglandins will stimulate more contraction of uterus. More contraction of uterus will give positive feedback to the fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland to secrete more oxytocin and at the same time, more contraction of uterus also give positive feedback to the placenta to secrete more prostaglandin. As the level of oxytocin increase, the level of prostaglandins also will increase. This will stimulate even more contraction of the uterus and the contraction will become more frequent until birth occur. So let's read the process that occur during parturition. Placenta stimulates adrenal gland of mother and fetus to synthesis DHEAS or dihydroepiandosterone sulfate. DHEAS then converted into high level of estrogen in placenta. High level of estrogen will induce formation of oxytocin receptors on uterus and also causing the level of progesterone drops. Engagement and pressing of fetus head to the cervix will trigger fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland to secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin bind to oxytocin receptors on uterus and stimulate first contraction of uterus. The first contraction stimulate placenta to secrete prostaglandin. Prostaglandin stimulate more contraction of uterus. Contraction of uterus give positive feedback to fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland to secrete more oxytocin, which will repeat the process of uterus contraction. As more oxytocin is secreted, secretion of prostaglandin also increases and contraction of uterus becomes stronger and more frequent until birth occurs. So let's recap about hormones involved in parturition or birth. So the first hormone is progesterone which is secreted by placenta. During parturition, progesterone should be at low level to allow uterine contraction. The second hormone is estrogen which is secreted by placenta the role of estrogen is to stimulate the formation of oxytocin receptor on uterus. The third hormone is oxytocin, which is secreted by fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland. The role of oxytocin is to stimulate the uterine contraction and also to stimulate placenta to secrete prostaglandin. The last hormone is prostaglandin, which is secreted by placenta. And the role of prostaglandin are to stimulate uterine contraction and also to give positive feedback to fetus and mother's posterior pituitary gland to secrete more oxytocin. Mm -hmm.